Our fully customizable photovoltaic panels Revit family can be installed on any project surface with option to include a mounting support frame directly onto an inclined roof surface on the ground and even on pergola beams. Create any combination of panel setups and all this with very few family parameters to control. So let's take a look. Here we are in Revit. I created a few surfaces for us to work on. We have our ground slab, a flat slab, an inclined slab, a wall, and even a pergola where we can uh, later on show how to install our PV panels onto it. First thing we need to do is import our uh, photovoltaics panels family into our project. So once you've downloaded the files from our online library to import the family into our project, we need to go to the menu on top, insert, load family, and select the downloaded file from uh, your downloads or wherever you saved the file when it was downloaded. Open. We have already created uh, a several number of family, different family types ready for you to use. Uh, half of them are surface mounted without a frame and the other half with a frame with different setups, degrees and number of panels. I'll just go ahead and select all of them and import into our project. Now that we have our family loaded into our project, we need to go to the architecture menu, click on component and from the properties panel, if you have a lot of uh, families loaded, we need to find the photovoltaic solar panels family and select one of the pre-configured family types that came together with, uh, uh, with the family. I will just go ahead and select a frame mounted panel, two, pa two by four panels. And uh, all I have to do next is select the surface where we want to install our panels. Revit is looking for any type of surface to install the family. This can be a flat surface, an inclined surface, a vertical surface, any type of surface. I will just go ahead and click somewhere here on our ground slab. And as easy as that, we have our first solar panel system installed into our project. Next up, we will open the family parameters and see how we can change its uh, configuration to suit our specific requirements. So here we have the family type properties uh, panel. And as you can see, there are only very few and yet powerful parameters we can change and uh, transform this existing PV panel system into anything we want. The first two, the first parameter we are going to look at is the support frame. is basically a, a turn on, turn off um, parameter feature. As soon as we uncheck the box at the support frame parameter and hit apply, the system will be installed flat onto the surface we have uh, chosen to install our panel. Click the support frame back on, hit apply, and the frame re-enters into our configuration. The other two parameters is the number of rows and the number of panels per row. Currently we have two rows, one, two rows. We can simply change the number of rows, let's say, to one, click apply, and we have one row with four panels <coughs> in each row. We can change it to three, any number we want. So now we have three rows. Change the number of panels in a row. Basically, it controls the number of columns. Let's make it two, four, six, any number we wish. We can have as many panels as we want. 
So we can change the number of rows, the number of uh, panels per row, and we can also choose to have a support frame installed or not. This will be used when we install the panels onto an inclined surface without a frame. The next parameter we want to control is the angle with which the panels are installed. Currently it's at 15 degrees. I can change it to 30 degrees. We can go all the way up to 90 degrees. Let's see what happens when you choose 90 degrees. They are installed vertically and the support frame changes automatically. Let's take it back to 25 degrees. One of the powerful features of this uh, family is that we don't have to consider anything regarding the support frame. Once we change any of the parameters of the family, the program automatically calculates all the necessary dimensions for the metallic or the steel support frame. The last two parameters we can control is the actual sizing of each of the panels. Currently, each panel has a width of one meter and a height of 165. We can change the width, let's say to 150, and we can change the height as well to one. This way we can control whether we have we want to have our panels installed vertically in a portrait orientation or horizontally in a landscape orient orientation. For instance, if we have our panels that are two meters by one and we want to install them horizontally, we use the width two meters and the length of the panels, the height of the panels to one meter. If we revert these dimensions and have a width of one meter and the length of two, the panels will be installed vertically. Plus we have three available materials as a parameter for us to change. We have the material for the steel uh, support frame, we have the material for the actual panel and the frame around the panel. All these are controlled with basic Revit parameter methods. As you can see this is a very easy to use family with very few parameters to change and yet we can uh, change it and uh, create any solar panel configuration we want. So let us now install another solar panel uh, setup onto our inclined uh, roof. Again component. I will select the same uh, family type and uh, reconfigure it for the roof. You see it has the same shape and sizes as the previous setup we did together. Install it anywhere on the surface. Select edit type. I will duplicate this and name it um, inclined roof panels just to have a different name. And what we need to do, turn off the support frame. Once we hit OK, we can see our panels are flat installed onto the inclined surface. Select it again, edit type. Uh, once we remove the support frame, the angle par parameter has no no meaning whatsoever since the panels follow the actual surface that are installed on. Even if we change the degrees, the angle degrees for our setup, nothing is going to change in our model. Uh, for this configuration, I want three rows of five panels in each row. And uh, we can also move them to the correct position. I will add more panels since we have enough space on our roof. I will choose to have seven panels per row. And this is our inclined surface mounted panels. So let's install a few more uh, solar panels. Uh, 
this time I'm going to use one of our pre-configured uh, setups with a frame uh, 2x3 and install it on our flat roof. I will now go and install a surface mounted on a wall uh, 1x3 and install it directly onto a wall. Again, I can change anything we want. I will add more panels per row. I will make them six. Apply. And we need to move them to a more proper location. If we want to control the height where they are installed, either use the move command or in our uh, properties uh, panel, currently they are located at an elevation of 600. We can change that to any height we want. And you will see the panels move from the specific elevation from the floor. Let's go ahead and install our last set of uh, panels onto our pergola beams. Basically, because uh, each beam has a surface, Revit recognizes the top of the beam as a surface where we can install our uh, panels. Um, component, I will install a surface mounted uh, two by three. And you see, as soon as we come on top of the beam, program recognizes the beam as a surface and we're ready to install our panels. There we have them. We can change the width and the orientation, whether they are portrait or landscape, and have them exactly as we desire. As you can see, this is a very powerful family to have in your library, where you can import it into any of your Revit projects, install them onto any surface available, and create any and a limited number of configurations and setups.